Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alec Reed. This is my channel Alec Reed, and today we are reading Marriage of Hearts Super Fan Fiction, Chapter 118, Chunk Charlie. And this is by Hearthstopper underscore fan22 on Wattpad. Um, so before I jump in, I do want to say um, hello to everyone. And I also want to say like, subscribe, comment down below, um, whether it's leaving recommendations or whether it's just saying hello. I will respond to both. And my microphone falls over. Jesus Christ. Anyway. So let's jump right into the video. Chapter 118, Drunk Charlie, Nick's Perspective. I was a little worried about Charlie. He usually gets too carried away, and it seems like that's what's going to happen. He looks a little wobbly and giddy already. Tara sits us down, and it was Tao and Elle's turn to go first. First question, what's Tao's biggest pet peeve? Tao writes it down on a piece of paper. What's the answer, L? Guesses. When people are PDA or even just show the tiniest amount of affection in public. She says, rolling her eyes. Tao jumps up and points her fing his fingers at L. You're going to make us lose the real answer with Nick. Nick is my biggest pet peeve. Everyone laughs and I slightly laugh too. But I feel like everyone is laughing at me, not with me. I know Tao likes to joke and tease, but sometimes I wonder if he's really joking. This joke of him not trusting me or liking me has been going on for years. Now it seems like he must not like me. I feel a frown growing on my face. Then Charlie puts his hand on my shoulder and whispers into my ear, not sounding sober, but not sounding drunk either, just a little buzzed. Are you upset, babe? You look sad. Is it Tao? I'm sure he's just messing around. I put a smile on my face and kissed him. I'm okay. That now that I have your lips on mine, I say with a wink. He stands up, saying, I'm getting another drink. Before he could walk away, I caught him by his wrist, pulling him back down into my lap. Are you sure that's a good idea? You seemed pretty buzzed. Don't you think you've had enough? He shook his head. I'm fine. I'll just have one more, he says, getting back up to get again to get one more. I see him take a shot and grab an already mixed drink in a red solo cup. He sits back down, smelling strongly of alcohol. Tara then says, Nick and Charlie, you're up. I tense up as she announces that. Is he sober enough for this? Tara then says, who wants to answer the question and who wants to have the question about them? Charlie is quick to say, I'll answer it. His words slightly slurred. Tara nods and proceeds to ask the question. What is Nick's favorite thing about you? I confidently write his beautiful blue eyes, his caring personality. He's so gentle. He won't hurt even a spider. His instincts to take it outside. I love everything about Charlie Spring. I've told Charlie over a million times these things, so I was pretty sure he would get this right. What's your answer, Charlie? He says he stays silent for a few seconds before saying, I know he likes my eyes, but I'm not sure anything. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything to like about me. He says, slurring his words. I can see everyone's expression go blank, and all eyes are on us. I grab Charlie and pull him into a, a hug. There's so much to love about you. You're perfect, I say in a loving tone. I hate when he talks about, about himself. I kiss him on the head, and he snuggles up to me. Tara and Darcy go and get... There's right. Tao and Al go got theirs wrong, and we got ours wrong, because I apparently wrote too many answers down. I felt nervous, as it was our turn again. I noticed Charlie could barely sit up for, at this point. He's finished his drink, and has had way too much. Tara asks who wants to answer, and I quickly say, I think we'll forfeit. Charlie looks at me mad. If he looks, if looks could kill, it would be the one he gave me. I'll answer it, he says. And Tara nods and asks, 
what's your least favorite thing about Nick? And Nick, what's your least favorite thing about Charlie? About you? I was upset now and angry at this game. It was stupid. And Charlie shouldn't be asked questions like this right now. I squint my eyes shut, wishing I could just disappear when he starts to talk. I think Nick is amazing. He's so cute and adorable. His clothes smell nice and his lips are perfect. He's perfect. Everyone says, aww, except Tao. It was a cute moment until he rambled on some more. I tried to stop him, but it was too late. I'm not even close to good enough for Nick. I'm so ugly, it's embarrassing. I wouldn't be embarrassed to be seen with me in public. I don't know how he puts up with me. I can't even eat properly. His words were hard to understand and every and very slurred. But as he started talking about his eating disorder, I threw my hand over his mouth to cover it, which I should have done sooner. Everyone was staring at him and I felt as if we were a fish in a fishbowl. Charlie squirmed and tried to speak, but I wouldn't let him. I know he will regret what he said, and I don't want him to add more to the list. Happy birthday, Darcy. We love you, but I think I need to get him home. She smiled and ran over to hug us. Good idea. He probably should be getting home, she said as she ruffled his hair. He stopped trying to chalk as I took my hand off his mouth. When I did, he said, I just want one more drink before we go, babe. I tilted his chin to look at me. I don't think... Don't you think you had enough? He shakes his head. No, one more. He holds up his index finger. I put my arms around him and lead him to the car. One more later. How about that? Charlie agrees, totally out of it. I eventually throw him over my shoulder and carry him. He could barely walk straight as we got further down the path. Once we made it to the car, I placed him in the passenger seat and kissed him on the forehead before buckling him up. I started driving and couldn't help but let the sadness completely overtake my body, hearing himself say those things about himself. And that is the end of today's episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, t next time we will be, be reading chapter 119, You Deserve the World, is what that one is called. Um, like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you liked this chapter, channel, thing, I'm losing it. Um, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Goodbye, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends.